After a KXAN investigation showed the unintended consequences from a law meant to prevent wrongful convictions, some state leaders are calling for changes. In June, we told you about the DNA testing law with this basic idea. The Department of Public Safety should test all relevant DNA evidence in a capital murder investigation before that case goes to trial. In a letter acquired by KXAN from DPS to the bill's sponsor, State Senator Rodney Ellis, we learned that as of late July, DPS tested evidence in 22 capital cases, completing 18 of those. In total, that cost the agency about $100,000, in part because these capital cases take so much more time. A DNA scientist spends about three months per case versus about 10 cases per month with non-capital murders and sexual assaults. And to help keep up, DPS said it now needs 10 more forensic scientists and supplies and equipment. Senator Ellis will push the legislature for that funding. Today, though, he was talking about a separate but related issue, the testing of evidence to clear people already convicted. Despite laws passed, an appeals court case set a high bar to get DNA evidence tested. Defendants would need to know what DNA evidence exists in order to get that evidence tested. It is abundantly clear that this Texas legislature meant what we said on three separate occasions with regard to testing. Most everybody here knows what happened to me. Um, I got out because we got access to biological evidence. Had this court case been in effect when I went through my ordeal, I'd still be in prison. That, of course, is Michael Morton, who also spoke today at the Capitol. He spent nearly a quarter century in prison for the murder of his wife, a crime he did not commit.